Okay, this is Doc, and what I want to do is talk you through downloading and installing Python XY for the Math 310 class. So I've come to Google, and I'm going to type into my Google search Python XY, and I'm going to find the Python XY page here. I'll click on that. And this takes me to a page that's actually kind of uh, big and complicated and a little bit confusing. But anyway, I'm just going to go straight to the download link. So I'm going to click on download. Now, I recommend, uh, because this file is so big, Python XY, it actually comes in three different, um, conver uh, three different versions, a full edition, basic edition, and light edition. All we need for this class is the light edition. And the way we're going to get the light edition is by clicking back up here on this web minus 1.0.2. So I'm going to click on that. And hopefully something's going to happen. Come on, baby. OK. And so it came back up um, with uh, this message opening xyweb minus 1.0.2.exe. Would I like to save this file? Yes. I'm going to save it. And uh, I will go now into my downloads directory. And there I see my xyweb 1.0.2.exe. I'm going to execute that. It'll give me a message saying that it's an executable file and it may contain viruses and other things. Uh, and I'm going to click OK on that. There's an OK. OK, and it's going to give me a security warning. This publisher could not be verified. Are you sure you want to run this software? And I'm going to say, yes, I want to run it. Now, here is where you choose the light edition. OK, choose the light edition. A little bit clumsy, the software has just got this button. You click this button, and then it's going to start the download. So I click the button, and it starts the download. And I'll see downloading Python plugins. This process will actually take uh, a while. Um, it's a pretty, it's a, it's a large program, and it's going to take a while to download it. So I'm going to pause now until uh, that download is complete. You, this might take you five, ten minutes, actually. Okay, so I've paused it. It took a few minutes, and now I'm going to say uh, this, this window opens up all plugins were downloaded successfully. Do you want to execute the Python XY installer? I'm going to say yes. Um, click the type of install. Uh, I would go ahead and just say next. Leave it, leave it as it is. Now it's going to install into program files Python XY Python. Now it's installing XY going to run for a minute. You're going to see some things flash, but it's okay. Python is an amazingly large and beautiful open source programming language that you can use for everything from uh, the math that we're going to be doing in this class to uh, doing uh, Windows programming. You can do web programming with it. You can do multimedia programming with it, database, everything you want to do, you can do with Python. So I'm going to, I'm going to pause this recording until this installation is done, and, uh, and then I'll pick it back up. Okay, so we went through the process, and now it says completed. So I'm going to click next. And it says here completing the Python XY setup wizard, so I'm going to click finish. Okay, so that's it for uh, installing Python XY. And now we want to run it. And uh, it may have put a, an icon on your desktop, or else it might have put an icon in your uh, start menu. There's a Python XY icon right there. Either one, I'm going to click, and I'll get the same thing. And it's going to open up a, uh, a control window. It's going to take a second. OK. And here is, uh, you, don't, you don't need to use Eclipse or Qt or Maya VI. There's a lot of stuff here. The thing that we're really going to use the most is the interactive console. So I'm going to click on this one right here. This is referred to in the uh, opening documentation, but I'm going to click it here. and. Uh, that will open up my Python XY window, IPython XY. And this thing is going to sit here in flash orange for a little while until it gives me a bunch of uh, opening messages and a prompt. 
So I'm going to watch this happen. And uh, there it goes. So it loads a bunch of things, NumPy, SciPy. Now, in general, and this is something that, uh, that we have in the book for you uh, um, that you're looking at online, but in general, you, you really need to make sure that you um, import a couple of things before everything's going to work. So you have to say from SimPy import star, and that we come back with a just another cursor, and I'm going to say from SimPy dot matrices import capital M matrix. Oops. Uh, maybe that's not it. Uh, at this point, I'm going to end this, this video and uh, fix that. Actually, I'm going to pause this video and fix that. I had it right. I misspelled SimPy. I spelled it SIPMy. You probably saw that, and I didn't. From SimPy dot matrices import matrix. Okay. That's all you need to go to do uh, to pick up now with the uh, with the homework. So good luck. Let me know if you have any problems.